Welcome to the Interaction Client Did You Know video series by CPI. Hi, this is Ruth Lockery with the next installment of our Interaction Client Did You Know video series. Today, we want to discuss three specific capabilities available from your client. Many people don't realize that they're even there, but they are powerful, and we want to be sure you know how to use these. Today, we're going to talk about call recording, parking, and camping. Let's start with recording. The interactive system offers two types of recording. There is interaction recorder. That's used by contact centers for their quality assurance programs. You know, you've all heard, your call may be recorded for quality purposes. Well, that's not the one we're talking about today. Today, we're talking about ad hoc recording. Before we show you how to use this, let me begin with one disclaimer. You need to be aware of the laws in your state related to recording calls. Some states require that only one party know that they're being recorded. Other states require all parties on the call be informed. A good rule of thumb is to be sure to let people know you'd like to record the call before you start. Also, the ability to record calls is enabled by your system administrator. Talk with them if you have questions about access from your own client. Now let's move on to how to actually record the call. It's really quite simple. You can add the record button to your button bar. While a call is active in your My Interactions tab, click the record button. While a recording is in progress, you can use the pause button to, wait for it, pause the recording. The pause button is a toggle. Click to pause. Click again to unpause. When the call concludes, the file with the recording attached will be delivered to your email box. You can then forward that file on to others so that they can listen to the call as well. The second feature we want to look at today is parking calls. This is a great feature to allow you to deliver calls to others so they can pick it up at a time and place convenient to them. Let me explain each type of parking. There are two types of parking available in the system. The first is parking to a user queue. Think of this as putting a person's car in their own garage. You're going to park the call specifically in that person's client. Why would you use this? Here's an example. Let's say I'm standing at your desk and you take a phone call. You realize it would be helpful for me to speak to the caller, but I want to walk back to my desk to take the call. So you park the call in my client and I pick it up when I get back to my desk. Here's how to do it. As with everything with Interactive, there are a couple of ways, and I want to talk you through this by using the example I just shared with you. So, first, with the interaction highlighted in your My Interactions tab, find my name in your company directory, select it, and then click the Park button. The other way to do it is to use your transfer dialog that you select from your button bar. So again, with the interaction selected, highlighted in your My Interactions tab, click the Transfer button. Now you'd enter my name or my extension in the Transfer To field and then click the Park button and now the call is parked in my client. By the way, if you're the recipient of a parked call, you'll see that call parked in your My Interactions tab and you pick that call up just as you would any other alerting call. You can double click on it or highlight it and use the pickup button. The second type of call parking is to send the call to an orbit queue. This feature allows you to place a call in a virtual parking lot, allowing anyone who knows the number for the virtual parking space to pick up the call from anywhere in the system. This feature is especially useful for staff who use paging to notify employees of calls waiting for them. You can learn more about how to use the Orbit Queue feature by reading the client help page entitled Orbit Queues. If you need help setting this up, please contact me for the details. Finally, let's talk about camping, and I don't mean the kind that needs a tent. I love this feature because it saves me so much time. 
Did you know that camping allows you to be notified when the person you would like to contact becomes available? Here's the example. There's a colleague of mine who I always seem to need to talk to when he's at lunch. I camp on his line and when he returns, I'm notified right from my client. Now I don't have to make trips back and forth across my building to keep checking to see if he's back in his office. Here's how to do it. First, I check the status of the person I want to speak with in my company directory. Here we see the person is at lunch. Be sure you've clicked on the name so that it's highlighted and then just press the camp button. Now you'll see a little window appear letting you know the camp has been initiated and you can go back to work. When the person returns from lunch and sets their status back to available, you'll see the little window again letting you know they've returned. You can even initiate the call to the person from this window if you'd like. By the way, you can view all of your active camps by selecting View Active Camps. There you go. Recording, parking, and camping without a tent. Keep watching. We'll be back soon with more of our Interaction Client Did You Know video series. Thank you for watching. You can find more information and comment on this video at blog.comprod.com.